My intention for Mass is for Catherine Corelli. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May your mighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, now the righteousness of God has been manifest apart from the law. Though testified to by the law and the prophets, the righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ for all who believe. For there is no distinction. All have sinned and, all, and are deprived of the glory of God. They are justified freely by his grace through the redemption of Christ Jesus, whom God set forth as the expiation, expiation through faith by his blood to prove his righteousness because of the forgiveness of sins previously committed. Through the forbearance of God to prove his righteousness in the present time that he might be righteous and justify the one who has faith in Jesus. What occasion is there then for boasting? It is ruled out. On what principle that of works? No, rather on the principle of faith. For we consider that a person is justified by faith apart from works of the law. Does God belong to Jews alone? Does he not belong to Gentiles too? Yes, also to Gentiles, for God is one and will justify the circumcised on the base of faith and the uncircumcised through faith. The word of the Lord. Amen. Response our song. The, with the Lord there is mercy and fulfillment of redemption. With the Lord, there is mercy and fulfillment of the Out of the depths, I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my voice and supplication. With the Lord, there is mercy and fullness of redemption. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, Lord, who can stand? But with you is forgiveness that you may be revered. With the Lord, there is mercy and fullness of redemption. I trust in the Lord. My soul trusts in his word. My soul waits for the Lord more than sentinels wait for the dawn. With the Lord, there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. 
the Lord said, Woe to you who builds the memorials of the prophets whom your father killed. Consequently, you bear witness and give consent to the deeds of your ancestors, for they killed them and you do the building. Therefore, the wisdom of God said, I will send to them prophets and apostles. Some of them they will kill and persecute in order that this generation may be char charged with the blood of all the prophets shed since the foundation of the world, from the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah, who died between the altar and the temple building. Yes, I tell you, this generation will be changed with their blood. Woe to you, scholars of the law. You have taken away the key of knowledge. You yourself did not enter, and you stopped those trying to enter. When Jesus left the scribes and the Pharisees, he began to act with hostility towards them and to interrogate him about many things, for they were plotting to catch him at something he might say. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, I want to take only in today's gospel when Jesus says, you yourselves did not enter and you stopped those trying to enter. So this is a reality in our church. There are many people that believe in Jesus and they come to church because of the other. And sometimes they stop coming also because of the other. So I have heard, for example, I have met here in town some people that have told me, I have maybe 20 years, 35 years that I don't come to church. And I asked why, and they said, because I had an experience with a priest or with a person in the church, and then I didn't want to go anymore. So imagine um, not coming to church during 30 years, 35 years, because you had an experience with somebody in the church. But I said to that person, but that priest is already dead. So why, you know, you are not coming anymore? But that person kept that feeling in, in the heart and didn't want to come to church anymore. So what Jesus is saying to these, they were in charge of the community. And because of their actions, because of their behavior, they didn't want to enter, Jesus said, but also, they didn't want the other to enter. And we had to be careful with this because people are all, always watching at us. They are always trying to see an example among the people that are coming to church. So if I come to church, but outside the church I have a bad behavior, then the other person will say, but if you are coming to church and you behave that way, so why do I have to go to church, you know? So we have to be careful when we say we are Christians and we practice our faith in the way we act outside the church because both has to be in the same way, my actions and my words. So what I say, I have to practice this. So yesterday, for example, um, I have a friend. She's from Puerto Rico, and her mother passed away suddenly, and she was living in some place in Florida, and she was knocking the doors in many churches in, around this place and asking for a memorial mass for her mom. And everybody was telling her, you know, we don't have anybody to do that mass. There is not availability. You have to register this in advance. But imagine, so if somebody died, so you don't have this in your, you know, in your hands. And the, the woman was so disappointed because she is a catechist in Puerto Rico, and she's very active in the church, and she works hard in the church. And so she was expecting to receive the same that she is given in Puerto Rico. And I said to her, you know, this is a sad reality. You know, there are many churches that don't, doesn't, don't have enough priests to do everything, but I can do something online if you want, because the, the, it was the remain of her mother, so it was cremated. But I, I said, I, could, I can do something online to your family, and, you know, you can gather together, even though it's not in a, in a church. 
but I can do that for you. But she was disappointed, and I was trying to, you know, don't take this in a bad uh, reality. So it's a reality that is happening in the world, mostly here in, in, in the United States, that there are not enough priests to do that. But what I'm saying is sometimes we have to make a big, biggest effort in order to keep the faith of people. So if you want to behave in one way, but, you know, is you can, you can scandalize the other, don't do it. Keep doing what you have to do and forget about yourself because it's not about you, it's about the church. And when one person fails, so everybody fails in, in the church. When, for example, if a priest commits an error, then all the priests are condemned together with this one. And this is the reality. So we are a whole church. We are not a single person coming to church. We are the whole church coming to church. Um, you know, just everything you are doing in your life, keep, keep, um, keep in mind that what you do will prevent the other to come in. And we have to bring everybody to the church of Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, let us now offer our prayers to God for the needs of the church and the world. For leaders of the church, may God's grace enable them in their ministry of spreading the good news to the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For greater respect for life throughout the world, from conception to natural death. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are in prison. May the light of Christ bring them about transformation in their life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the people of this faith community, may God's provincial love force us, pour us in courage and sustain us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase of vocations to the priesthood, the diaconate, and the religious life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may they know the rest and peace in heaven. And behold the face of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our individual petitions and intentions, through the intentions of St. Philip the Callistus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of mercy, we give thanks to you for the redemption you offered to us. In your goodness, listen kindly to the prayers we have made through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, are you Lord, God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful 
with the sacrificial offerings that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and every word to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess, we live in faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end. We acclaim, holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Zana in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Zana in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of our holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that Partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, Catherine Carelli and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am no worthy that I shall enter on my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you make, make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. 
the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee we send up our signs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn them, most gracious advocate, the eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Amen. Heavenly Father, Jesus commanded his disciples to love you and one another. He also also commissioned his friends to make disciples of all people. By the help of your grace, through the intercession of the Blessed Mother, help all who worship you at Queen of Heaven perish to be and make disciples by loving you and others. May we always be dedicated to this mission above all other things in our encounter with each person. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Go forth and proclaim the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.